Hi, Laura. It's Amanda Steele. Today, I'm going thrift shopping with a friend, so I'm going to show you my 10-minute beauty routine. The first step I'm going to do is use these eye drops. These are from Lumify. My eyes get really red and irritated easily. They get dry, so these are a lifesaver. They make my eyes so bright and white. So I'm gonna use this Elta MD SPF. I just always like to have a very juicy, plump skin before I do any foundation or any makeup actually. It just makes it sit better and it looks a lot nicer. Eye cream. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue. It feels super smooth and hydrating. It's a nice little base. So I normally like to do my own makeup now. I usually don't just take 10 minutes to do my makeup. I like to spend like hours just in my zone, having fun. It's kind of like my zen time. I'm using the Touche Eclat All-in-One Glow from YSL. I do get a lot of products sent to me, which I'm so grateful for. Before, it used to be like insane. I have like in my garage, there's a whole beauty cabinet and it's just filled with extra foundation colors and lipsticks and you know just everything possible that has been sent to me so whenever me or my friends run out of a product we just like go in the garage and just dig through all of the things that people have sent me and you know use from there for concealer i'm using the instant age rewind from maybelline concealer this was like my favorite in middle school Probably into high school too. This is just like an OG really good one. I think it's the sponge tip that makes it like really blend easily. I usually do my makeup looks based off of what flatters my face the most. So I do a lot of like cat eye stuff because my eyes are like a little bit downturned, more round, and I want them to be lifted. So I'll do that. I'll do a lot of sculpting. Just like really good skin and contouring is like my favorite to do. So I'm just Blending that in with my beauty blender. I always like to use creams the most. I do my whole look with creams and then I set with powder because my skin is so dry. If I use mostly powders, then it just doesn't look very good. And also when you use creams, you can blend them a lot easier and it's easier to fix mistakes. So this is also the Touche Clot pen from why sell? This is in a darker color though. I've been trying to find a cream contour that is more light, so I decided to just grab this one. I tried to do it a little bit higher just because I want my face to be more lifted. And then I'll put some on my forehead, down my nose. My nose contour is always so messy, but it has to be done. It's easy to clean up, it's fine. It's funny to see how my makeup routine has evolved because you can literally watch it evolve online. I've been doing my makeup tutorials since I was 10 years old and I still post now. I am 22 years old now. So there is years and years and years of makeup routine videos on the internet of me. So you can see how I did my makeup in middle school, how I did it on my first day of high school, how I do it now. This is from Pixie. This is the On The Go blush. So it's just literally the easiest thing ever. I just go boom. Boom. Amazing. It's like you hardly have to even blend it in. I'll also use it on my lips, put this like over my nose, a little blushed look there. I love blush. I love a like bright pink blush like this too. I feel like it looks really natural. Lately I've been using my fingers a lot for my makeup just because I feel like I haven't been able to make it look really natural. So we're like, we're just going in with the fingers to make it melt and blend into my skin a lot better. I definitely feel confident when I do my makeup really well, um, but it can be the complete opposite effect if I do my makeup bad. If I'm not happy with how it looks, then I can feel even worse than if I just didn't do my makeup at all. So it's a bit tricky. I like playing with makeup, but I also love being natural and letting my skin breathe too. It's kind of like whatever phase I'm in. Right now I'm in a phase where I'm like, I love the glam. So this is the Hourglass setting powder. Kind of tap it in. I'm putting it all on the spots where I put the concealer. 
So I'm using the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. She's so LA. Dust it over the cheek area where I contoured and where I put blush. So when I started making YouTube videos, makeup tutorials, I wasn't actually allowed to wear makeup. Um, I would fight with my parents so much, like begging them to let me wear makeup to school just because I loved it so much. I just wanted to wake up in the morning and do my makeup. And it seems like so long and such a tough time when you're like, please mom, I just wanna wear my makeup. Then I take a powder bronzer to contour my nose. I use this tiny little brush just because it's like most precise. And then I kind of drag it like through here. So I'm just gonna go on top with this Pat McGrath blush and dust that over my cheeks. Nice and glowy and fresh. I love it. I cannot live without Aquaphor. Look at this giant tub I have here. This is my go-to lip balm. Just really hydrates and it doesn't make your lips more dry. For highlight, I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier one. This is Rose Glow and I use this Eco Tools brush. This is like such an old brush, but it's my favorite ever. Haven't found a highlighting brush that beats this one, so it's sticking around. I just put that right here. Luckily, the products that I used already give me a glow. I don't need too much highlighter to add it back, but it looks nice. So for eyebrows, I'm using this Rare Beauty double-sided brow. Basically, the gel on this is like glue. It really makes your eyebrows look like they're uh, laminated. I like to just use the gel alone when I'm doing a natural look, or at least I'll do it first and then fill in any spots I think need to be filled. So for my eyebrows, I usually get them waxed, tinted, and laminated. I haven't done it in a while, but I love it so much because I hate doing my eyebrows. Like, this is fine just because I'm putting gel in it, but I hate having to like make them match and make them look even and not too bold, but also bushy, but not too big. You know, it's just like so hard to make eyebrows look great. So when I get them tinted, laminated, waxed, like I don't even really have to worry about it. I just put some like gel in it and then boom, we're done. So all I'm gonna do is do a little bit of liner because I just feel naked without some sort of like winged liner. I think the cat eye became my signature, honestly, because it was easy for me to do it, which sounds crazy because it's hard for people to learn how to do a nice cat eye, but that was kind of the point. Like I would just do it so big. Like I would just make giant black cat eyes and it would be like, whoa, like, your makeup's cool, even though it's like really messy and it didn't take too much effort to do. But now at this point, I just like the shape it gives to my eyes. So now I always have to do some sort of cat eye element to it. So I'm using this Morphe palette and then connect it to my lash line. I'm trying to keep it as thin as possible, but it's also not the end of the world if it's thick. I guess a tip for doing your cat eyes is always like step back and look at yourself as if you're looking at someone, you know, cause like you're doing your cat eye like this, but it, it looks different when you're just normally talking. Um, if you kind of have hooded eyes like me a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I also get lash lifts and tints as well. The same girl that does my brows, she does my lashes too. And I really, really love that. So I'm using this Laura Mercier Caviar Volume. Now for my lips, I love doing my lip liner. I feel like it just brings a whole look together. Like I could be looking at my makeup and be like, something's off, something's off. And then once I finally put my lips on, I'm like, that was it. So this is the About Face lip liner. And then I'm using the About Face Light Lock Lip Gloss in Plastic Petal. I really like the look right now of just having strong lip liner and then like a lighter gloss just on top. All right, now our final step, we have to spray the face. This is Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I'm gonna just spray myself. I want it to last all day. I'm gonna take my hair down. So that is my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Allure, for following my 10 minute 
beauty routine. I'm about to go to this thrift store, get some new clothes, and thanks for watching.